Hey y'all and welcome back. Today I want to share with you six micro habits that could improve your life in 2023. These are small habits, some of which I've been doing for years and a few that I just started doing this year and I wanted to share them with you. Sometimes the smallest changes that we make in our daily lives are the ones that can ultimately make the biggest difference. As Confucius said, the man who moves mountains begins by carrying away the smallest stones. And I believe these particular habits are especially helpful for those of us ladies in our 50s. Making my bed first thing in the morning before I start on anything else gives me the satisfaction of starting my day with a great sense of productivity. But there are a few other reasons you should consider adding a made bed to your morning routine. It starts the day off on a positive note, possibly leading to more motivation throughout the day. And studies have been shown that for older people, having a tidy environment can help retain brain function. Don't we all need more of that? Gretchen Rubin of The Happiness Project found during her research that outer order leads to inner calm and that making the bed is one of the simplest habits that can lead to more overall happiness. Lastly, making your bed in the morning can lead to better relationships as polls have found that bed makers have more sex. Ooh la la. <laughs> to help start my morning off with a clearer head and help shake that menopause induced brain fog, I start every morning off with a full 20 ounce glass of filtered water before I ingest anything else, including coffee. Not only does the water replenish the liquids lost during sleep, but it also helps energize you and boost your metabolism for the day. I recently invested in a more aesthetically pleasing water pitcher and glasses to make the experience just a little more swanky feeling and I swear to you, the water tastes better that way. Something I recently added to my teeth brushing routine in the morning is rinsing my mouth with hydrogen peroxide. Now this habit was suggested to me by one of my best friends who was given the suggestion herself from her dental hygienist. Now the important thing to remember is that you don't want to swallow the hydrogen peroxide. You just want to rinse your mouth out with it. The obvious benefit to using hydrogen peroxide is to keep your teeth whiter, but the antibacterial properties will also kill the bacteria in your mouth, which will keep your gums healthier and possibly help in the prevention of catching colds and flus, especially in the wintertime. When I have finished my big glass of water and finished brushing my teeth, it's finally time for my much coveted cup of coffee. Now, for the past couple of years, I have been adding collagen powder to my coffee every morning. I use about a third of a scoop per cup, and I usually have about two cups of coffee in the morning. There is no doubt that the collagen has greatly increased the strength of my nails and hair growth. So much so, it's one of the reasons that I've decided to start a journey as a silver sister and let the gray grow in naturally. And as you probably know by now, collagen is one of the components we start to lose quickly as we age. And it's so very important to our skin, hair, and nails. In fact, my friend swears that the crepiness of her skin goes away as soon as she starts using collagen. It's also super important to the functionality of our joints. Adding it to your coffee in the morning is one delicious way to make your body prettier and healthier. Another way to keep your joints healthier is to move them every day. This next habit is something I've done daily for years, and that is to go outside and walk every day. Sometimes I'll set monthly goals to achieve a certain number of steps a day and other times I just make a point to, for both my physical and mental health, to get outside for at least 30 minutes a day. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know I recently challenged myself to get 15,000 steps in a day for 30 days in a row. And boy, was that a challenge. In fact, I'll be doing a whole video on that in the near future. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Moving your body, especially outside, has so many health benefits that I'm sure you're all familiar with. But for me, it's about keeping my heart healthy, 
creating endurance so I can do things like hike the Grand Canyon, and ultimately creating a clear and calm mind. Finally, this last habit is probably one of my favorite habits, and that is fixing a cup of sleepy time tea right before I go to bed. Or really, it could be any kind of nighttime tea, like chamomile or mint tea. I just find that holding the warm cup feels really comforting and calming, and drinking the tea at night reduces my cravings for late night sweets, which <laughs> is a pretty big issue for me. The tea itself is relaxing, and when I combine this with reading in bed, it allows me to fall asleep just a little bit easier. And we all know that any help with sleeping these days, especially at our age, is a luxury. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite micro habit or habits, especially for those of us over 50. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to take a second and click that subscribe button. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.